And Mama? Craziest little girl in the world. Hey, this is probably Rulona. She may have smelled the food. <laughs> Hi. Is he here? Is who here? I don't know his name, but he's tall, skinny, and beautiful. Hold on now. Tall and skinny we got, but beautiful. <laughs> Hi. How'd you get here? I followed you. JJ, who is it? JJ, what a super name. It's a little girl from the bus. <laughs> Is there something you want? Uh-huh. Kim. Well, you can't have me. Are you married? No. Then I can't have you. Hey, look what I got you. Used to be a mini on me, be a beautiful gown on you. Isn't that beautiful? Thank you, Malone. It's so pretty, isn't it, JJ? JJ, come on. Yeah, in a minute. Uh, yeah, it is pretty. Want to see it on me? Hold it now. First, we've got to take off your sweater. Don't go away, JJ. Honey, uh, what happened to your arm here? Uh, uh, I think I burned myself. Hey, how could you burn yourself like that? Um, I tripped over my pussy can and I fell against the stove. And there was a pot cooking with hot chocolate. And it spilled all over my arm. With marshmallows. <laughs> uh, you never told us you had a pussy cat. Oh, I don't believe this. Now it's pets. JJ, are you coming or aren't you? Look here, Mama, you ain't double parked out there. <laughs> I mean, first things first, you can see Penny's hurting here. So just take a number and wait in line. <laughs> well, I never. And at this rate, you never will. I'm sorry, JJ. Well, that's all right. She was just your normal, everyday, groovy, foxy, fantastic lady. <laughs> but you, kid, you're something special. Oh, no! Oh, my God, Penny, what, what happened to uh, you? Uh, I fell. I always fall. My feet are all thumbs. Come here, babe. Now, um, Penny, I, um, I know that you like to pretend, but I want you to tell me the truth, okay? Who burned you? Penny, who beat you up? Who did those terrible things to you? Penny, tell me, who did this? Hello there. I've come to take Penny home. Honestly, Mama, I didn't tell him anything. I didn't say a word. I didn't tell him anything. Uh, t tell him about what? What would you have to tell them? Now, if I was going to get Penny, I would have heard something by now. Well, no news is bad news. <laughs> I guess it just wasn't meant to be. Maybe the people down at the department figure a single person has to have a double dose of everything good. And Malona Woods just did not measure up. Maybe I wanted too much, you know, wanting to be a mother, wanting someone to love. I knew it was a long shot from the beginning. Malona? Penny? I'm here to stay. Oh, good. What would you say if I told you I had a tape recorder going? Tape recording. Mm -hmm. The tapes things? Yes. <laughs> oh, you wouldn't. <laughs> oh, yes, I would. To every supervisor in your department. Shall I play it back for you now so you can hear what it's gonna sound like to them? Two turtle dust by night. Well, the sky full of it. Since I couldn't get you a Christmas present, well, I made you something. What? Okay. It's the same as the one I was gonna buy you, only it's made out of paper. Oh, Penny, it's oh, priceless. It's just what I wanted, baby. <laughs> um, Hortense, can I talk to you a minute? Look, I got something I gotta tell you. There's no tape recorder. I couldn't have played anything for the department. And even if I could, I couldn't stoop to anything that underhanded. It's not my style. Oh, I see. Well, Valona, there's something that I want to tell you, too. 
After being here tonight and seeing all the fun and the love and the good vibes, well, I'd already made up my mind to recommend the final adoption. Oh, wow! <laughs> Mama, did she say final adoption? That's what she said. You mean we're each other's forever? Forever and ever. That's the <laughs> best Christmas present in the whole world. Oh. Miss Dawes, what can I do to thank you? You can get off my corns. Mama, go on. I'll put the water for this again. Okay, thank you, Alona. Okay, dokie. Oh, Alona, don't forget to take the um meatballs out the refrigerator. In the refrigerator? The child got the meatballs in the freezer. And they say I can't cook. Alona? Huh? How come Michael has to go up to Cindy's to keep warm? Uh, cause uh, you find out when you get older. <laughs> Then it has something to do with sex, huh? Now, why would you say that? Well, anything I have to wait to find out until I'm older either has to do with the world situation or sex. And knowing Cindy Thompson, I don't think it's the world situation. <laughs> you get over there and set that tape. Penny, I'm so proud of you winning that skating trophy. I wish I was there to see you. I bet you were terrific. Terrific? Uh -huh. I was dynamite! Yeah. 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 Mr. Davis said he wouldn't be surprised if they pick me for the Olympics someday. Olympics? Are you serious? Mr. Davis said what I need now is to take lessons from another coach, a top pro, one who's trained other Olympic champions. Hey, hey, nothing but the best of my penny, honey. We'll get you one. Mr. Davis said these lessons would cost money. Mm -hmm. A half-hour lesson is about $10, and I'll need two a week. Two a week? Uh-huh. Whew. You did say two a week? <laughs> well, uh, that's not too bad. It's only $80 a month. And uh, Mr. Davis No, said... never mind what Mr. Davis said, honey. Now, listen. How do you really feel about it? I love to skate. I wish I could spend half of the day on ice and the other half with you. But we can't afford it, can we? Well, not on the money I make, honey. But you sure love that ice skating, don't you? More than anything, Mama. What'd you say? More than anything. I mean that last word. Mama? Mama. <sighs> JJ, my nose is itching. Well, Penny, you can't scratch it now. Earl's in the middle of painting your left nostril. <laughs> but I have to scratch it. Hey, look here, Penny. You should have thought it out before. You know, whenever Napoleon had a portrait done of him, he knew his thumb was going to itch. That's going to be always held his hand right in there. <laughs> OK. Oh. <laughs> Earl, you really can paint, honey. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, Penny, lesson's over for today, so you can take a rest. Same time, same station mm -hmm. tomorrow, though. Uh, JJ, aren't you forgetting something? <laughs> My modeling fee, 25 cents an hour. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? Somebody <laughs> picked my pocket. <laughs> Goodness. Well, look, I'll get it to you, but in the meanwhile, how about a banana and an apple? Fair Fawcett never worked for bananas and apples. <laughs> You're not telling her what to do. You're explaining a very natural thing to her. But if you keep on this way, she'll be scared to death. She'll never know that it can also be beautiful. Oh. No, I, I don't know. I love my daughter. I care then what happens. For God's sakes, prepare her. Don't just let her think her best friend has got a six pound, seven ounce virus in her belly. <laughs> <laughs> Penny. What? Mama. Penny, what's wrong? He wouldn't, he wouldn't give them to me. Who wouldn't give you what, baby? What's the matter? I went to get the gym shorts. You went to Tina's? No. You told me not to, so I called someone else. But she wasn't home. So her brother brought them to me. But when I, I met him in the hall, he, he said he wouldn't give them to me if I didn't let him. <laughs> if I didn't let him. Oh, baby, don't, don't cry, don't cry. But why did he try to do that? Did I do anything wrong? I told him they were fit. I told him, I told him they were fit. Penny, Penny, did he, did he? I ran away from him. Oh, thank God. 
Well, she's just a baby, a child. No. She's a developing young woman. And it's about time you give her all the information you can. Now, she's had a terrible experience, but you can't let her think that's all there is to sex. In heaven's name, Willona, take her home and talk to her now. But I gotta... I'll call the police. You take her home. Flo. Flo. What is it? Thank you. Sorry. How long has this been on? It's been on since those people came to the party. <laughs> Rewind it. <laughs> now, what do you think that's gonna prove? I don't know. Maybe the truth? <sighs> what do you mean all that? What about all this? I mean, you come barging here on me like I'm some kind of gangster. Okay, 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 I'm sorry. That was unfortunate. But I needed insurance, just in case you want to take this <laughs> That's you, on tape. <laughs> Penny, Penny, give that to me. Penny, give it to Mama. Penny, Penny, no, give it to me. Penny, I'll take it. Let's go, Miss Gordon. Benny, I let me. Paloma? Any other time, any other place, you still would have been too good for me. Jeff, get out. Bye, Walona. Well, I guess you better go out there and tell the police. Everything is cool in here. I don't think you want to go to court now, do you? Here. I don't want it. Penny, baby. I, we need that for evidence. It, it doesn't matter. No matter what the court says, no matter what she says, no matter what anyone says, I'll always be with you. <laughs> Penny, I know we have so much to learn about each other. But I promise you, I love you more than any mother's ever loved a little girl. Oh, Mama. Oh. <laughs>